Gospel of Luke, chapter 9. Here's the next idea. There can only be reincarnation. There is nothing new under the sun. Without reincarnation, death and birth, there is no evolution. Without evolution, there are no one-celled animals. With no one-celled animals, life ain't worth talking about or saving. You suicidal maniacs. I can't remember what you said before you lost your head 2,000 years ago, but I think I got it figured. Jesus had it figured. With the help of who knows how many people, he needed to have 12 disciples. And they went around telling stories to get people thinking. Like pulling the cord on a gas-powered lawnmower. Sometimes you pull the machine and you pull and the machine springs into action. Some machines need to be tuned up and oiled before a pull need come into question. Which proves anything you wanted to prove. Herod was confused. He had chopped off John's head. Luke would have us believe it had nothing to do with his eleven year old stepdaughter. And John, also is in his thirties with a lover and children, did not need to lose his head. But that's what confused apes do when they feel threatened. They chop off heads, nail people to crosses, burn them, and anyone who isn't content to wallow in human depravity, waste, excrement, and rotting animals can be next. Just ask Bush it. And again, the 5,000 people who are hungry. Now it's a much bigger number, and some don't have water either. See if we figure that out. Here's a disclaimer. Verse 20. Who do you say that I am? Peter answered, You are God's Messiah. End quote. And if you changed God for life, it was true enough. Still no reason to build a church and ignore the making of a great part of the planet into the third world, our slaves. So we can have more plastic toys and build guns to shoot them if they don't like dying. Wait, that was from verse 54. Uh, now James and John, my crazy Nitro brothers, we ain't gonna kill them just cause they don't want to hear from us. We will go somewhere else. Some homeless guy follows Jesus and whoever else. Let things go and went to see if the plan to change the world in any way was gonna work. Maybe Luke wrote this for me. I've heard it various ways a million times. One of my lovers once said, don't start something you can't finish. And Luke said, don't look back. That's all sort of true. The application method is what matters.